Hi friends, welcome or welcome back. Thank you for joining me today as I do my cash unstuffing for paycheck period number one and cash stuffing for paycheck period number two. Today well, I will be stuffing a total of $425 amongst my cash envelopes, high and low priority binders, and my debt binder. So let's get started. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, 250, 60, 70, 80, 90, 300, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I hope everyone had a great week since I last spoke with you and everyone is getting prepared for this snow that's ahead of us later on tonight. I'm not, I know I'm not looking forward to it, but it's winter, so it is what it is, right? Okay, so first, we'll be unstuffing our everyday cash envelopes. Let's see what we have here. I have nothing in personal. <laughs> I actually spent all of this in Dollar Tree. I went in there with the intention of only spending $5 because I was looking for some more gloves. And I wound up actually spending, overspending, I had to dip into my um, miscellaneous envelope. So everything is going out of personal. I did good with snacks. I didn't purchase anything this week. So we have $10. Put that to the side. My daughter, she didn't ask me to pick her up anything this week, so. We have $20. Car fare. Ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 20. I'm actually gonna keep this um, in the envelope because you never know with the prices. I don't actually drive my stepfather. He drives me to and from work. And so when he's not able to drive me, I like to have um, cab money on hand in the event that he's not able to take me. So we'll keep that in there. And groceries, I did spend some. There was originally a hundred dollars in there. 20, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So we'll put that to the side. And I'll show you what I'm going to do with this uh, rollover money after I stuff my envelopes. And toiletries, it was originally $30. I now have 15, 16, 17, ooh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Why can't I count? 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. And the last envelope is the miscellaneous. Like I said, I believe I spent um, $26 and some change. 
and it was $10, I'm not sure, about $28. So there's $2 left in miscellaneous. I have a nice amount of cash, so what I decided to do, because I have a big container where I keep my, my coins, but for now, I'll just dump it in, in this tray, one of the items that I picked up in the Dollar Tree, and then I'll um, dump it in the main jar when I finish recording. Times and nickels and pennies. Okay. Personal will get 20, and that's for me. Snacks will get another 10. I'm really trying to get whatever snacks that I might want uh, throughout the week um, as a part of my grocery shopping. Um, in an effort so that I won't have to use this. So last week I did pretty good. Let's see if we can do it again this week. Mini Me, that's my daughter. I give her $20 as well in case she asks me to pick her up something before I come home. Car fare, we're gonna keep that 20, but we're gonna add 20 more. Because again, the weather is, you know, we're gonna get more and more snow and stuff. And if he's not able to take me, or if he has something else to do, you know, I, I wanna make sure that I have the funds available. Groceries, we'll be getting $100, and that will be 520s, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Toiletries, we'll be getting $30, and that'll be three tens. I think this will be um, use all the all of it because um i was speaking to an associate of mine and she stated that there was a nice sale on um some items in the supermarket so i'm definitely going to stop by there and get all that i can miscellaneous i'll get another 10. and that is all for my cash envelopes. Next, we're going to get into our high priorities. I didn't pre-fill my tracking sheet, so I'll do that um, off camera uh, so that I don't make this video longer than necessary. So the four, first category is ABCs. ABCs, this is my health and wellness binder. Basically, this is for um, when I need to stack up on vitamins or any of my protein powders, 
any possible co-pays that may arise, things of that nature. So we'll be getting $10. Next is capsule wardrobe. Again, I stated in my previous video, I'm sick and tired of my current wardrobe. I've had it for far too long. So I'm trying to sort out all of the things that I want to give away, um, sell or donate. And then after that, I will do um, some shopping to replenish my wardrobe. So that'll be $20. Once I get some of the items um, in in the categories, maybe I'll, I'll make a video and let you see some of the footwear and clothing items that um, I would like to sell. Next is cookie jar. It's always good to have um, cash on hand in the house in case something may arise that's not necessarily emergency, so you don't have to um, dip into your emergency fund. So I will stuff this. I haven't set a, a cap on this, but I'm thinking anywhere between $250 to $500. Cushion. Cushion is just another word that I use for miscellaneous funds. In the event that I overspend in any of these other categories, I will just take from here. And then after that, I'll start over and replenish. Don't touch my hair. Don't touch my hair is for all my hair care products. Um, and uh, salon visits. I, I'm a, la a lazy natural. I've been um, natural since 2009. And then if anyone doesn't know what that means, that means I do not have any chemicals in my hair. I do not have a relaxer. Um, when I rinse my hair, I try to use... Um, a natural rinse and um, so yeah so the hair care products that I like to use they're pretty much on the pricey end because um, I try to use all natural products as well so I'm gonna have to bulk up this um, envelope I'm pretty well stocked on a number of items like shampoos I'm always looking to um, stock up on deep conditioning because every wash day, I, I do a deep condition. I never skip a, a deep condition. That's very necessary for natural um, hair to, to be well conditioned. Oh, also, lazy natural means that um, I don't, uh, do a lot to my hair. I keep up my, my hair in 80 to 90 percent of protected styling um, in an effort to protect the ends of my hair. Ends of your hair are um, the oldest strand of, or part of your hair so um, and it's easily damaged because it can rub on like your clothing and stuff like that. So I try to keep it off my shoulders and keep it up to prevent um, any breakage. Self-care. Self-care are for manicure, pedicures, waxings, possible massages, and things like that. Special projects. Special projects will be getting $20. And special projects are just for things that um, I want to save up for short term, but I don't want to necessarily keep 
um, creating new envelopes for, I can just reuse the same envelope once th that particular project is um, goal is met, and then I can move on to the next one. At this time, I don't have um, a gold in mind, but I know um, I'll be thinking of something soon for this. And again, I don't have um, a cap yet in mind for this particular one. And last, uh, I put the money in the wrong envelope. Lastly, I have tuition. This binder is for my daughter's college tuition. Uh, my goal is to get her um, out of college, at least four year college, um, debt free. So I, she does receive some financial assistance, but very little. So I'm paying off the difference. I have one um, payment already in the bank, uh, ready to make the payment. Um, so now I'm working on getting ready for my next payment. The first payment I have is $880. So I'll be making that payment before the month of January is out. And that's um, all for the high priority binder. Next, we have our low priorities. Low priorities are things that are not a necessity and they may not get stuffed every pay period. But there are things that I would like to say for um, when possible. So the first category is date night. Date night um, could be when I just want to have a me day to myself and go shopping or maybe get a bite to eat. It can be a night on the town with a significant other or it can be a, a girl's day. So. Or when me and my daughter, we go out and hang out sometimes. So date night, we'll get $5. And again, I didn't um, do the tracking sheets, so I'll do that off camera. Next, we have family and friends. Any event, close family member or friend needs my financial assistance. I will need to um, tap into any of my emergency funds or savings funds. Next, we have gifts. Gifts co covers um, birthdays, anniversaries, and any other special occasions like baby showers or, or if something is happening in the office and um, co-workers want to chip in for a gift for someone, it'll come out of the gift envelope. Next, we have miscellaneous fund. Pretty much every binder that I have has a, a miscellaneous category because any event that I over um, spend, um, which I'm going to try to prevent, or um, the item is more than I have in the allocated envelope, I'll just pull out of miscellaneous funds. Next envelope is subby appreciation. I'm stuffing this so when I reach my 100 subscribers, 500,000, so on and so forth, I'll be um, nice and ready to give out some great giveaways. Next binder is, not, not next binder, but next cash envelope is small business, support small business. Um, I do a lot of shopping on Etsy and support minority um, and small businesses. So um, this is one way that I 
the tide or, or do my charity. So definitely going to make sure that I keep this binder stock. Uh, so th this is another way that I do my planning, my budgeting and planning shopping, like with my stickers and stuff like that. I'll pull from here when I purchase items on Etsy or when any other the budget community has um, a website that they sell things. I'll pull it from the small support business. Yes, small business. I'll pull it from the support small business envelope. <music> Lastly, we have tech support. Um, I know at some point in the near future, I'm going to have to get a new um, phone. I currently have the iPhone 8 still works like a champ for me and i will use it until um the all the bells and whistles stop um i also uh, want to look into getting uh, either another desktop or a laptop so that's all for our low priority binders Okay, our last two binders are um, my debt binder and my everyday uh, cash binder. So this binder is basically works in conjunction with my cash envelopes. Um, so every category pretty, pretty much that's in this binder, I have a category envelope in this binder. Um, so I will be rolling over some monies just so I'll have a cushion as well for these categories. Um, this bill envelope is for a bill that I split um, with others in the household and I'd give my portion in cash. So I just stuck it in this particular binder. And that's going to be the last $10. Okay. So, for groceries, let's see how much rollover money we have. Forty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have $106, not too bad. So off the bat, all fives and singles, I will be, I, I will be saving um, for my ones and five envelope. And I will stuff that in my savings video so we have 20 40 60 70 80 90. okay so how am i going to um split this up so we have groceries home goods toiletries mini me and difference again difference is just another word for miscellaneous so I'm definitely going to put $10 in groceries, 
home goods is for household items like laundry detergent, dishwashing liquid, cleaning products. Um, so I'm going to give $10 towards this. And I'm going to give hmm, I'm going to give I'm going to give ten dollars to toiletries, and that'll be all for this bind up for this week. The remaining 60 will go towards debt. So I have an envelope for credit cards, personal loans, and student loans. And this is just uh, a bank envelope. So when I'm ready to pull funds out of any one of these envelopes, I'll transfer it into the bank envelope and then I'll take that envelope to the bank to deposit. So I already have $100 in student loans because although um, the repayment has been pushed back till May 1st, I would like to make a significant um, payment before or by May 1st. So I think... I think I want to put the $60 in student loans as well because I kind of already um, allocate extra funds into credit card um, payments, additional credit card payments. And for one, I have two personal loans and for the smaller one, I already worked this in my budget. so this could hold off a little while longer. So I'm gonna put the remaining 60 in student loans. Okay guys, well that's it for today's video. Thank you for joining me. Um, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and join me um, for my next video um, for my savings challenges. Have a great day. Bye.